This is how I went from getting horrible frame drops and unstable FPS to getting stable frames in game. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can do it too. So the first thing I did when I went to optimize my PC was I got a custom OS. And this uh, one specifically, pros like Cooper, Peterbot, and a lot of other people use uh, to optimize their frames in their game. So yeah, I'm going to show you all basically how to get it. And yeah, and it, this helped me a lot because what it does is it puts all your like your background tasks more on your RAM than your CPU and your GPU. So it utilizes your RAM more than your core components that gets you your frame rate in the game. Might sound complicated, but it's actually like really simple. So yeah, basically to get the OS, I recommend like resetting your PC like a hard reset. If you don't know how to do it, it's pretty simple. You just go to your settings and you search out re uh, reset this PC right here. And then you do get started and then remove everything. But it might it might still work for you, but you know, you might need to reset your PC. I recommend resetting it if you haven't reset it recently, because it can cause some bugs in it and all that. So but yeah, I do recommend doing that if you guys want to do it safer. But basically to do it, you're gonna want to get AME Wizard. And you go to the you click it and you go to download. And then it'll just download it for you. I already have it in my finals, but yeah. So once you go to AME Wizard right here, is what pops up. So this is a program basically, and then it'll ask you if you want to like allow it to access your PC. Yeah. So this is what's gonna apply the custom OS. So once you get that and you have it and it's working, you're gonna uh, go to Revio OS Playbook and then hit that and then you hit Download Playbook. I already have it downloaded, so I'm not going to do it right now. But yeah, once you have like everything set up, now what you're going to do is you're going to open the AME Wizard. And then, like I said, you should probably reset your PC. Uh, you won't, you'll just have to re-download your apps. But if you do want to like keep, like say you have like some cool clips or something y'all want to keep, basically, before you reset your PC, just go into your files, and then you go to this PC. And then you basically just like copy and paste any of the clips and stuff you want to save to your hard drive. And then when it's, uh, once it's like in your hard drive, it'll be there after you reset your PC still. So yeah. But you're going to have your playbook and then you're going to, uh... Okay, so when you're doing this, like say like, say this like picture I have is very OS. All you're going to do is you're just going to drag it in there. I don't know how I got deleted from my files. But yeah, that's basically all you're going to do. And then you're going to hit it. And you'll hit next and you just follow the steps and then it'll give you an option for a browser you want to use i just chose firefox i actually kind of like it it's like simple you know and i feel like it does a, a little bit better optimization than what uh google chrome or any of the other ones do so i just use uh firefox but yeah it'll ask you for a browser and ask you like if you want a custom download and then yeah it's pretty simple and then once you do that it'll just restart your pc the download should take like max of 15 minutes and yeah you should be good if it's taking any longer uh, I'll link a video in the description basically where how you can get your PC like back to normal because uh, then the playbook just won't work for you and then you might have to like reset your PC or something but yeah so the first thing I did was get a custom OS like a bunch of other pros and then after that what I did is I just went into my Windows settings and I literally just turned off everything I don't use. Like absolutely everything. All my notifications, everything. I just turned it all off. Like I turned literally everything off. Like I just don't have anything. Like anything that's like could take up like latency or like running in the background of your PC. I just turned it off. I've noticed that it doesn't really affect your FPS. But I think it's sort of placebo, but I sort of feel that it's less latency with all the, like, unnecessary stuff, like, removed. But yeah, basically, like, game bar. Make sure you have all this off. And then game mode. I've tried it before. I get lower FPS with game mode. Uh, some people might benefit from it. I don't. And then same with the hardware accelerated GPU. Yeah, I don't, like, I don't know. I don't get as good performance with that. But yeah, also... Like, if you're gonna, um, you wanna put your Fortnite on high performance, if that's what you play. So you're gonna go to your folders, and then your drive, and then, here, I'll go from the start. So this PC, you're gonna go to Windows, and then, 
I go to program files, go to Epic Games, Fortnite, and then Fortnite game, binaries, Windows 64, and then right here, Fortnite client, Windows 64 dash shipping. You're gonna click that and then hit add. And then once you go down here, hit options and then high performance. And then you have that. And then now we're gonna go, if you have an NVIDIA graphics card, this will work for you. So you go into your NVIDIA control panel. I want like stretch res 1720. Uh, I did used to use display scaling uh, with CRU, but it uh, it would bug the refresh rate on my monitor, so I don't really do that anymore. But yeah, so you're gonna go to your adjust uh, settings and then you just use use my preference. You make sure you have this on performance. And you say yes. And make sure also your refresh rate is on the max one for your monitor as well. You know, because some people are actually playing on like lower refresh rate. Yeah, and then a couple of your apps. Have you open Discord in here? I'll show y'all in y'all settings. You scroll down to advanced. So you want to open maybe Discord here and you want to go to your settings. And then you want to go to advanced. And make sure you have hardware acceleration off. Especially if you use Discord to talk. Our acceleration like kills your like performance and then game overlay you also want all this off on your discord if you do use discord and then also some more things that optimize in my epic games I just went to my settings right here I made sure I had all this off which everything you can have uh, auto like updates for apps but I just don't and then something I also do pretty frequently is I always go to manage and then verify my files. And then also make sure you want to have pre-download streamed assets downloaded. On the DirectX uh, 12 shaders and the high resolution textures. Unless you play on DirectX 12, it, like it doesn't matter if you haven't installed or not. Like it literally doesn't affect nothing but just the space on your disk. And if you play Save the World, download it. Make sure you got all the languages that you don't use, you know, unchecked. But yeah, that's just your Fortnite game. And that's basically it, bro. If you want to optimize your PC. That's just the, some of the things I did. And it was basically, like, mostly the uh, custom OS that did most of it. See, in my task manager, like, it takes a lot of the processes. I know it says I have a lot right now. That's because I'm running all this stuff, like, recording. But while I'm just playing and I have like a few things open, I usually have like 40-ish processes, which is like super low. So if you scroll down, like Windows processes, it optimizes that. And then it also, notice how it's using my memory. Like it puts it more in my memory. That's what it does. Like it puts all your processes more in there and uses your memory. But I have like a lot more processes just because I am like streaming and doing all that right now. So, yeah, but Revy OS is like definitely like a crazy boost in FPS. Like it boosted my stuff like crazy for me. Uh, it really like stable without my frames. I go from like getting, you know, not even stable 144 frame drops to like 2030 to now getting like stable 144 the whole game and like peaking at like 300, 400, bro. And my specs, they're not even that good too. My specs, I have a i9, 1080K, and it's a decent, and then I have a 3060, which, you know, in Chapter 2, like, that would be running, like, mad FPS, but, like, now, with the, how bad the game is, like, optimized, you know, it doesn't run me that much, so to run stable 144, it feels pretty nice, bro, but, yeah, so make sure to do the Revy OS, bro, if you don't want to reset your PC, man, well, that sucks, I'm sorry, I feel bad for you. Um, but yeah, that's basically what I did when I, you know, f fixed up my PC. Those are the first things I did. I just made sure I had nothing. See, like, going, just a Windows thing, literally nothing shows up here. I have, like, no background stuff on my, on my taskbar and on nothing. Make sure you have all that optimized, bro. And I appreciate you guys for watching the video. I hope, uh, maybe all FPS is better, bro. Um, make sure to use my code in the item shop if you want to help support me. And sorry for the little yap session. You know, it's just kind of like babbling about stuff I like. But yeah, so I appreciate you guys for watching the video. And peace out.